Now guys, how, how safe do you think London is? Let's just go ask people. Let's go. Okay, people, you have seen the video and what happened to me yesterday with the anti-terrorism police. Just allow me to ask myself a question. How safe do you think London is? Not, not safe right. at all. I think it really depends. I don't feel it's a safe city generally. It's not the worst either. You got kids, you got kids. 14, going, going into school with knives. I don't, I don't fear for my life when I leave my house. Personally, in my life, I don't see anything day to day which makes me concerned for my well-being. Um, I feel like London is incredibly safe. I feel like there are some areas where London could be better, it could be improved, but I feel like as a whole, the government do what they can, the police do what they can to make London a safe place to live. Um, I have uh, friends that have been mugged um, in Acne Week, for example. So, and I heard this story or uh, a female French has been uh, attacked by a man in a street and almost killed her. You hear all the news, stabbings, always fighting. I feel like it's kind of programmed into me. I'm expecting, like, am I going to get stabbed? Is there going to be a bomb? But I feel like it's programming that I, if I think about it more, it might actually happen. So I need to just relax into it, but yeah. keep my wits about myself. Do you think that that kind of fear created a profiling, a created judgment in the society? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think we've got like a, an image of what someone might look like who might cause a certain crime. Yeah, um, that's been put into our heads. My experience growing up as a black man, I've had a few runnings with the police where, where they've been a bit more, where they've, they assume that you're one thing when you're not. Do you know what I mean? So I understand that. But since I've got older, I haven't had those same situations. But um, I understand for a lot of my younger brothers that that can be the case for them, that the police come across as aggressive and, and overbearing and um, not understanding them and not listening. I haven't had that much experience, I suppose, with police in London. For example, I noticed that um, in this country, if you report a sexual abuse, they act on it straight away. That's my experience. I did for a friend. And in Italy or in other places, it doesn't happen. Especially me as a black person, there's a stereotype that goes around that we are the, the drug dealers, you know, we're the people that sell stuff on the road. So guys, you, you understood the question. Use the comment box below, yeah? Just give your answer. The, the, own, the main criticism I have with the police sometimes is that they, they, um, they react instead of, uh, what's the opposite of reaction? I can't remember. Uh, they, proactive? Yeah, they're, 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 they're more reactive than proactive. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like if they had more proactive policing, then they would, they would see a more positive relationship with the, with the people. What we as a society need, need to do so that there is not stereotypes. Just try and practice removing judgment. For me, I think for people to change the way they look at us black people, us black people have to change how we look at ourselves. Um, it's not so much English, it's um, the Europeans. Obviously in their country, it's um, you also example Hackney. <coughs> if you're in Hackney, you can't go into Stratford, if that makes sense. Really? Yeah. Right. Because it, in their country, it's territory. And that's what happened in Stratford. And obviously it's all to do with drugs as well. It, most, most of London is run by drugs, isn't it really? Yeah. I think anyway. I think society revolves around stereotypes regardless. So in society, the black people are doing this, the white people are doing that, and the Asians are doing this. Black people are seen as this, this, this and that. Um, neg as seen as negative people, basically, is what I'm trying to say. You know, so I feel like there has to be someone, there has to be someone that can prove everyone wrong, the media wrong, the norms of society. There has to be someone that can, you know, show that black people are much more than that. So I think there's that prejudice, or maybe you can call it racism as well. I think people generally like to stick with what they know and if you've grown up in a, a middle-class environment your whole life then when you come across a black guy that's grown up in a lower class a working class environment then you're going to be threatened by him you're going to be threatened with the culture but i think um the main thing that people need to do is just just don't judge and, and have conversation do you know what i mean for example like obviously you see it on the news a lot of different people and when they come across those people, they think they're all the same. 
So they go in the phone place, I think, oh look, he's one of them. But they don't, they don't know you. I think there is a little bit of that. They expect that certain races or certain types of people are in that type of crime. Because coming from Italy, I know that that is more of an issue. So whenever there's a burglary, for example, they, they say straight away, it's a, some, a foreigner. I get checked for drugs every time, and I don't, I don't do drugs. <laughs> so, you know, just in Italy, not here. But as soon as I go out of the airport, they, they send the dogs, and I'm like... Yeah, and, and why 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 they picking on you? Why? Because I'm dressed like a hippie. Ah, oh, that's, that's a stereotyping. Go now. Yeah, yeah, very stereotyping. Stereotype. So guys, you know, us, we also need to do a certain job to help the police make us feel safe, make the city where we live safe. We decided to put certain people in a certain section. Those people are dangerous and those people are not. And it depends on your color, depends on your religion, depends on what how you look and how you see people and people decided that you're dangerous or you're not dangerous. And we need to educate ourselves to live in a society, in a harmony, so that everybody has a chance. If somebody decides to be a bad person, that is their choice. But it's not everybody is a bad person, it's like as a society. So let's stop racism, let's stop stereotyping. Guys, I hope that you find this video very useful and also it gives you something to think about it. And if you like it, please hit the like button. And if you're here for the first time, hit the subscribe button. And also the notification bell that comes next to it. Support us, support the channel. That's all what we're asking from you. And from me to you, it's only peace and love and live in harmony. And I will see you next week.